This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. You are now about to start recording this year. When you are finished, please hang up. Okay, good evening. As we get ready, Lekras Yemadin, to greet the Day of Judgment. This is uh, part three in Making a Cheshman and Nefesh. We just finished Yishtabach. And uh, uh, being that I said last night before Slichus, about a son of El Shimcha Hashem, Asei Laman Shemecha, that one of the Pshatim of coming to your name, Hashem, we ask, we appeal to you to do for the sake of your name, is the fact that we give daily a very small percentage of the world. We give daily honor to Hashem with the great declaration of Yehishme Rabba Mavarach Laolam Olme Olmaya. The Mishnah tells us that this declaration is more important than Baruch Hu or than Kedusha. In other words, if you have a choice to hear Amen Yesh Me Rabba or Baruch Hu or Kedusha, Amen Yesh Me Rabba even trumps Baruch Hu or Kedusha. Uh, the power of Amen Yesh Me Rabba, if one thinks about it, you know, think about the terrible things that happen in the world, and the power of an Amen Yesh Me Rabba to tear up the Gizardin of even 70 years Lara. I mean, Amish Yishmei Rabbah is a, is a proclamation of tremendous power. Um, it's an unusual tefillah. We know that the Gemara says that we're supposed to say, Bekal Koychai. The Rishonim say, Bekal Koychai is Bekal Kavanasai, with all one's concentration, with all one's thought. It's also brought down that it should be said out loud. Simple explanation of it is because when you say something out loud, kill is ma'ayre Mishnah Bruce says not to say it so loud that people will make fun of you, they'll mock you. But it's brought down that the Zoyar says that there are cosmic implications of saying it out loud besides the fact that it facilitates better kavana. It's, it's, it, it's more powerful when we say it out loud. Um, the... Uh, the meaning of it, Yehishmei Rabba, may your great name, Mavarach, be blessed. Be blessed in the sense of that it's the source of blessing and that it's complete, it should be complete in the eyes of more people. Now, this is puzzling to people because it sounds very redundant. La'ala means always. So, once it says always, what does it have to say La'ala Mulome Omaya for? So it's interesting that the Tagum Untkalis is rendering of La'olam Vo'ed is La'olam Ulaume Omaya. La'olam Vo'ed, which we translate as forever, the Untkalis says is La'olam Ulaume Omaya, forever and all eternity. Uh, but, but, but the Mephoshim of Tfila have grappled with this uh, greatly how to explain La'olam Ulaume Omaya. For example, um, you see, Rabbi Shamsha Befal Hirsch says eternity is hidden from our eyes. We have no idea. That's why it's la'olam. The word la'olam means la'alem, hidden. Right? So forever and ever is hidden from us. Right? It's, it's, it's ilam. It's, it's hidden because we don't know. No eye ever beheld. What you're going to do to those that hope towards you. Um, the, the Sefer Toitzah Sachayim, which is a very, very uh, important Sefer on Tefillah, says that La'olam u La'olme Omaya refers to three different places. La'olam is the place of the Kisya Kovid. La'olme is the place of the Malochim, the Srofim, the Chayes Fane HaKodesh. And La'olmaya is the Galgalim and the rest of the world, all of the all of the uh, solar systems and uh, uh, the myriad of uh, creations that Hashem made in the heavens. So that's La'olam La'olme Olmaya. Um, just as an aside, the reason why Kaddish is composed in Aramaic uh, the Kolboi says a fascinating reason. The Kolboi says that Kaddish refers us to the time when uh, He says, Rashi says at that time the Yidin will be greater than the Malachim. And therefore, if the Malachim would understand the Tefillah for that time, they might interfere with it. 
So therefore, it's made in Aramaic, which uh, Malachim don't understand. That's the Kolbo's famous pshat. Um, so then we come to Baruch Hu. Now, Baruch Hu, it's a very quick thing, but it's really very important, Baruch Hu. You know, to come to Shul and make Baruch Hu is a very important thing. And if you miss Baruch Hu, you better listen by Kriya Satira, or you better at least chop it by Marit. Now, first, let me tell you what the Mishnah says. The Mishnah says that the declaration by the Chazan of Baruch Hu is that we should proceed to bless Hashem with the bracha of Yitzah Ma'iris and Bechaz Kriyashma. Baruch Hu es Hashem, he says you should bless Hashem, I'm a Baruch, who is blessed, is blessed, uh, right, by everybody, by the Malachim, by, by the whole world. And we answer, Baruch Hashem, Amavayrach, Lailam Vayd. Now listen to this Zoyar Chodosh in Rus. It's Kedai to come to this Shir just to hear this Zoyar Chodosh because it haunts me, this Zoyar Chodosh. If I'm not able to make a minion, it haunts me. Just listen to the words of the Zoyar Chodosh. Yezor Lispal Lailam Basara. Kedei sheyana baruch Hashem amavayich loylam vod shetzorach haadam loymer kedei shetishra neshama bay because this gets the new neshama of the day to fully be absorbed in our body. Before we say the five words of baruch Hashem amavayich loylam vod, the new neshama is not absorbed in our body, and it, this is the Lashon of the Medrash Rus. I'm quoting from the Sefer Ruma Yishalaylam till now. But this is the Lashon of Medrash Rus from the Zayar, Zayar Chadash Rus, Tzadi Ois Beis. She'ena neshama shayra ba'adam ad she'yaymer chameish milois elu. The neshama is not absorbed in a person until you say these five words, Baruch Hashem ha'mavayrach la'ilam v'ad. That's such a, 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 a powerful Zayar in, in, in Rus. So then we come, uh, we, have, we don't have time to spend a lot of time, but we, 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 then we come to uh, the before Kriyashma, and I've explained this, that's such a tefillah, that we ask Hashem that we should be close to Him. It's not easy to feel close to Hashem in this world where we have so many distractions. And that when we thank him in brachas, it shouldn't be robotic, it shouldn't be perfunctory, but it should be like, to thank you, and to declare your uniqueness, ba'ava. And then we come to the tremendous mitzvah of Kabbalah Sol Malcha Shemayim. How tremendous is Shema Yisrael? If you remember, we have a Koyen, who is a Meshuach Melchama. And he says, when he announces to Klal Yisrael to, to give them courage when they go to battle, he says to them, Shema Yisrael! And Rashi says that if only for the schus of Shema Yisrael, it's worthy that we should be protected. The power of a Shema Yisrael. So Shema Yisrael, we cover our eyes to have kavana, And we also cover our eyes to say that we accept Hashem blindly. With emuna pshuta. Right? We say Hashem, and here is where we should try to have both kavanas of Hashem, that he's Adon HaKol, and who HaYahoveh V'yiyeh, he was, he is, and he will be, he's uh, ever being. Elokeinu, our God, Taka for Balei Yecholus Kulay, the Almighty One, Hashem Adon HaKol, who HaYahoveh V'yiyeh, Echad. Now, Echad to be Marich Be'echad is Marich Lo Yama V'shnaisav, Chaim Kanievsky says you don't have to have all the kavanas while you're saying the echad. You could start and, and continue to have kavana afterwards. I believe Rav Shlomo Zalman Abach says the same thing. The echad is brought down to have a mind in the aleph that Hashem is one and only. The ches is seven heavens and one earth. And the dalit is the four directions. Uh, Rabbi Sol Salant is famous, but while you're being mamluch Hashem on the seven heavens and the one earth and the four directions, don't forget to be mamluchim on yourself. And uh, we have Rav Moshe's comment in the last of the Igris pr- pr- printed posthumously that he says that really he doesn't like this remez of the Ches because he says, the Gemara says there are more than seven heavens and on top of the seven heavens are the Chayos and the Afani HaKodesh and the Kisei HaKovet. So I have in mind when I say the Ches, seven heavens and more and one earth 
in the four directions. Now, Echad is that Hashem is unique. There exists nothing else besides Him. Right? Einoid milvadai. There's nothing besides Him. Uh, Hashem is Elikeinu. Hashem is now our God. But Emirz Hashem soon, Hashem will be Echad. Hashem will be for everybody. Um, when we do the Ahafta, we should have in mind the mitzvah of Avas Hashem. There's a mitzvah of Avas Hashem. Vahafta is Hashem Alikecha. The Mishnah Brewer then goes on to say that we should have Kavon in it, because if not, it's like we're lying. The same way it says that we shouldn't say Kriyashma without Tefillin, because it's Meyad Eid Shekab Atzmai. So the same thing, uh, 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 Yosef Chaim Zonenfeld, the great Rav of Yerushalayim, said that we should make sure to educate our children. Because if not, when we say V'shinantam Levanecha, we're made a Deshek And the same thing is true that we should learn every 12 hours. Because if not, when we say V'dibarta Bom, which the Ran says is the mitzvah of Lima Atayra Daraisa, uh, we are made a Deshek So our person has to learn every 12 hours. All these things, it's a big responsibility when saying Kriyashma. Now, in Kriyashma, we have a mitzvah Daraisa twice a day, like we say in the Haggadah. Right? Uh, 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 it says, Right? Uh, it's a mitzvah, the Egypt connection, twice a day to say, Ani Hashem Ali, Kechem Asher Otsis Yeschem Eretz Mitzrayim. That over there we should have a mind to be Mekayim, a mitzvah, the Raisa. And over here, I always like to mention what my father got from the uh, Friedrich Spinker Rebbe, the Spinker Rebbe's Pshat. And Spinker Rebbe asks Akasha, what is it about Yitzhiya's Mitzrayim that we have to mention it every 12 hours of our life? I mean, there are many miracles. What happened with Sancherev? <laughs> you know, there's so many miracles that we don't even mention uh, uh, once a month. Uh, some of them we don't even mention once a year. And, 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 and uh, we, if some of the people that uh, Gidon will hear about on Hoshana Rabba, you know, uh, 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 you know, what happens to Yitzhiya's Mitzrayim has to be every 12 hours of our life. So the Spinker Rebbe says that the message of hope that we were already at the 49th degree of Tumah. And if we would have stayed a second after Chatzais, we wouldn't have been worthy to be redeemed. And yet, 50 days later, we were worthy to get the Torah and Sinai and see Hashem. That lesson of turnaround and of hope is worthy to remind ourselves every 12 hours. And then we make a declaration of MS. Hashem Alekechem MS. Now, besides the fact that we should be careful to listen to the Chazan when he says Hashem Alekechem MS, because that finishes off the Reish Mem Ches Eivarev, which is protection of our 248 limbs. And when we say Kriyashma slowly, the Mishnah Brewer says it's Mitzanin and like Gehenim. It, sh- it cools off Gehenim for us. But uh, because we cool off our ang- anxiousness to say it quickly. But besides of all of that, the declaration of Hashem Alikechem Emes is that I am a believer. I'm not an atheist. I'm not an agnostic. I make a declaration. Hashem Alikechem Emes. It's true. It's brought down the, by the Mephoshim of the Siddur that when we say Emes, we should have it in mind. It says, Bore Elikim Lasais, Hashem created the world to do, to uh, continue functioning, is Sof Tevis Emes. Bore Elikim Lasais. Now we know that there's a big mitzvah, to be Saimech Geula Latfila. It's a very big Indian, to be Saimech Geula Latfila. What are we doing when we're Saimech Geula Latfila? That's so important. Uh, uh, Gemara says that when somebody was Zaycha, to be semikula tefila by that by by vasikin leposik, uh, no smile left his mouth the whole day. What's the Indian of smichas gula tefila? So the Rishonim tell us that we know why were we saved in Mitzrayim. We were saved in Mitzrayim because vayishma Hashem tzakosam 
We were saved because Hashem listened to our prayers. So we say, Baruch Atah Hashem Gal Yisrael. Blessed are you, Hashem, that once redeemed Yisrael because of the tefillahs. And now, too, we hope, as we say, Baruch Atah Hashem, that you hearken us and you save us and you give us good because of our tefillah. That's, that's what we're doing with the smicha of geula le tefillah, with putting the geula next to the tefillah. Now, the... Uh, The mission of Shmei Nesrei, which we know it's Oymed B'fnei HaMelech, we're standing before Hashem, and it's our time with the Eibishter. It's our time with the Rabbi Nishla. So here, we're going to conclude now with a, in Shulchan Aruch, Simen Tzadik Beis, and Mishnah Brura Sif Cotton Beis, it says something that Pashit takes training to do. The Chavetz Chaim tells us that when we're davening Shemayna Esrei, we should envision ourselves as if we are in the Beis Amigdish, in the Kodesh Kadosh. I don't know how many people do it. It's a very Shemishnabru. Mishnabru, look it up. Simon Tzadik Beis, Sif Cotton Beis. The Mishnabru says that you should envision yourself as if you're in the Beis HaMikdash, in the Mokam of the Kaddish, Kaddish Kaddash. And the uh, Mepharshim say that just the unity of everybody in Shul having this in mind, that they're standing in the Kaddish Kaddash, the holiest place on earth, and diving to the Hashem from the Kaddish Kaddash, it says from the tail, and you know, you know where they bring this Uriah from? They bring the Sariah from Yaakov's ladder. It says, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know that this is the gateway to heaven. So that's the place where all the tefillahs go up. So here Shlaimi thinks he should be davening in the Shnebel. Right? And, 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 and David thinks maybe he'll dive in, in Lach Sheldrick, right? Everybody, wherever you are, whether you're not good of Staten Island, whether you're in the Chesida Shishtibel, whether you're up in Lach Sheldrick, you're davening from the Mokim of the Kedush Kedush, from the Holy of Holies. It's an amazing thing. It's an amazing kavana, And it's an upgrade of our davening, another kavana to have in our davening. We may be Zaychetake to continue to make more and more improvements and alterations. This is, you know, the Rabbi Nishlam is not looking to punish us. Lo yach boitz b'mois ha-meis. Ki yim b'shuv medarkai. A little turn, a little turn. Ki yim b'shuv medarkai v'chaya. Rabbi Nishlam says, I just want to see, I just want to see you making a little turn. In that merit, we should all be benched. With a ksiva v'chasima toiva m'suka, chanani ben akasha amaratzak kolish baruchu l'zaka yisayis yisrael l'fika chir b'lam toira mitzvus shenem adi noy chafet zaman sitkai yadul toira v'yade. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.